Starship was this close to launching, Cargo Dragon returns from the space station, we've got a few Falcon 9 missions coming our way, and Blue Origin is today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. The next Starship to launch on a test flight is SN9, which is finishing up its series of ground tests. On Tuesday night, the rocket was scheduled to static fire its three Raptor engines for a second time, but was aborted just minutes before ignition. However, SpaceX came back harder the following day, successfully performing three back-to-back -back static fires just an hour or two apart from one another, a first for any Starship. Today is about practicing Starship engine starts. Ship is held down by massive pins while engines are fired. Detanking and inspections now. Good progress toward our hop in and go to Mars goal, referring to the rocket's ultimate purpose to take people and supplies to the red planet. During the inspection, SpaceX found that two Raptor engines needed slight repairs, so they will be switched out. And according to Elon, it would probably be wise to do another static fire with those new engines. If they don't get it done this weekend, road closures and temporary flight restrictions, originally meant for the flight, are in place for Monday through Wednesday. So with a little luck, we could see SN9 fly and fall with style, just as its predecessor within the week. You know, only hopefully not running on the landing pad this time. Whenever SpaceX does decide to light this candle, I'll be here to watch it live with you. So make sure you hit that notification bell and select all. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. After SN9 does its thing, other starships will follow suit possibly progressing further towards space on suborbital trajectories to test other hardware, like the heat shield that will be needed once it goes orbital with the Super Heavy Booster's help. Heat shield testing is still a thing at Boca Chica, and now we're seeing tiles mounted to Starship SN10's flap. SpaceX does appear to have built another test tank at the construction yard. Last time we saw one of these was SN7.1, used to test how 304L stainless steel would hold up under cryogenic pressure. This time, SpaceX is looking to thin out that steel from four millimeters thick to three millimeters. As I'm sure you're well aware, when it comes to rocket science, it's all about saving weight, even if it's a single millimeter. SpaceX also spent the week dismantling a couple retired Starship prototypes. Mark I was finally completely dismantled and SN6 was taken apart as well. and they erected what appears to be a fractional distillation tower for future on-site LOX production. Elon confirmed once more that the high bay will have a futuristic 360 degree bar on top, but also shared that it will have a glass floor looking down on the rocket factory. To get there, you'll have to catapult high into the air and land on the roof with a base jumping parachute. Unfortunately, I think he's joking, I think. Meep, meep. Once COVID passes, he'll open up their restaurant to the public and figure out ways to allow limited access to this high bar. He thinks that SpaceX should hold fun parties and give tours for the community from time to time. We're good, streaky! Yeah! Moving on now to Dragon news. SpaceX's first version two Cargo Dragon capsule that launched just over a month ago on a resupply mission to the space station undocked and departed from the ISS on Tuesday morning with science experiments on board. Then on Wednesday evening, the spacecraft re-entered the atmosphere, deployed its four parachutes, and made a splash down in the Gulf. We do have a few Falcon 9 missions coming our way. On Monday, SpaceX is planning to launch their first Starlink mission of 2021, placing another 60 or so satellites into orbit for their Constellation program. Then SpaceX's first dedicated rideshare mission that was pushed since we spoke last week is slated to launch on Thursday. All right, before we move on to our last segment of the show, first, I just want to say that last week, Elon made headlines when he generously contributed to the Barstool Fund to help small businesses decimated by government shutdowns. Well, he inspired me to do the same, and so I'm passing along the challenge to you guys. There's a link to where you can donate in the description below. Barstool has already raised millions from charitable givers, and I think this, in conjunction with the failure of government to give back a reasonable amount of your own money for the lockdowns they forced upon you, is just another perfect example of how giving the government more power is derp. Thanks, guys, and now it's time for today's honorable mention. Yesterday, Blue Origin launched their first mission of the year, the new Shepard NS-14. It 
It took off from the desert of West Texas, carrying 50,000 postcards and a test dummy. This was the first flight of this capsule that will be dedicated to launching humans on a suborbital joyride across the Kármán line. The reusable booster came in hot, got a little tipsy, whoa, but touched down on the landing pad. The capsule deployed its mains and it too touched down safely. Blue Origin is targeting April to fly their first passengers to space. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you eccentric members and patrons for supporting the channel. If you're interested in doing the same and receiving access to exclusive Tuesday episodes of SpaceX in the news, as well as other live content, check out the description for the appropriate links. Have a nominal weekend and until next time, Godspeed.